Welcome back to the farmstead. We're glad you're here. I'm Greg Burns, and today we're down in the studio, and we're cutting up an interview with Rob Pollock of La Robbie's. Now, Rob Pollock and family make some really great products that help beekeepers and bees alike. We kind of dig into what it's like to build a business, the things that are important. We also talk about the upcoming Hive Life Conference, and Rob runs us through how to use a La Robbie's Osalic Acid Vaporizer. Speaking of the Hive Live Conference, are you going? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to see you there. We're going to have a booth set up at Nature's Image Farm, and we're going to have a collaboration corner set up. Are you a content creator, a beekeeper with a story? Stop by. We want to hear about you and your journey into beekeeping. Now let's get back to a little preview of the interview with Rob Pollock of La Robbie's. This episode is brought to you by Nature's Image Farm. If you're interested in nukes, Packages, queens, or supplies, visit us on the web at naturesimagefarm.com. This January, down in, do you not actually, do you not say the city? I don't. So me and my I, wife, when, when we have seven kids, and every now and again, we'll, we'll sneak down mm -hmm. uh, to, to the mountains down there if grandma can watch the kids. And I've driven through that town so many times, and I always call it something different. And I asked Cayman, I said, Cayman, how do you say the name of this town? Well, he rambles it off in, in the local tone. And I'm thinking, I said, what? <laughs> you know, what, it's um, it's right. It's um, Sevierville. No, no, no. Sorry, Sevierville. Sevierville. Wow, Sevierville, Se Tennessee. Oh, I'm gonna mess that up a yeah. lot. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you that right now. I am gonna try and avoid saying just that as just, much as I. Yeah. So down in, uh, I think it's uh, January seventh and eighth, uh, down in uh, Sevierville. Tennessee at the Hive Life Conference. There's going to be a mess of us down there. Um, oh, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's going. Lot. I'm, I'm really excited. There's going to be a lot of great folks down I there. I think they only have like 30 tickets left. There's or not something? very many tickets yeah, left. It's, it's By the time this airs, they'll probably be um, um, sold out. There's going to be some incredible beekeepers. Um, just what's great about it is you do not have to be a super successful. 10,000 hive uh, outfit to go down there to learn. If you have two hives, you're going to gain a lot from the information that's a being lot. shared. Yep. More importantly, the, the, the top-notch speakers. you got Bob Benny, Kent Williams, Rick Sutton, Cayman Reynolds, Ian Stepler. Um, I'm probably forgetting a bunch of other people. Um, but there's going to be a lot of content creators down there. I know uh, Bruce from Bruce's Bees yeah, is going to be down yeah. there. Uh, Brian from Castle Hive is going to be down there. Um, who else? I'm, I'm forgetting. Randy, uh, Dirt Rooster, he's going to be yeah, down there. I think yep, he may yep. be speaking yep. to. There's going to be so many great people down there um, that you see as content creators. But you know what the exciting thing is? The place is going to be packed with fellow beekeepers that are in the same boat. Oh, it's One yeah. hive, two hives, ten hives, twenty hives. And we can it talk doesn't too. matter. <laughs> Everybody. Oh, and so we, we can awesome. sit down and have conversations and, and just, you know, trade information back and forth, be there to support one another. You know, that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Believe me, to be in the same room with Bob Benny and to hear and learn from his decades and decades of experience. Um, the same with Ian and, and, and Cayman. That's, that's awesome. And that in of itself is a one of a kind opportunity. Um, but the opportunity sure. to um, get to collaborate uh, and to uh, just chat and build relationships with folks in between those sessions during lunch, that is where the true value is because you, you start to, to build a, a support network. Mm -hmm. I've made so many, you know, uh, last year we went down um, for our YouTube channel, Nature's Image Farm, and also the podcast, which is the Contrary Beekeeper Show. We went down last year just to kind of see what it was about and, you know, kind of share our experience. We met so many incredible folks um, and has literally has been one door after the other opens, meeting um, some of these folks and just sharing life, sharing our experience. Um, and what you really, what you figure out really quick is nobody really knows what they're doing to a certain extent, and we're okay with that. And mm -hmm. once you, you you share the reality of your beekeeping with folks, you're like, oh, well, here's a guy who's been beekeeping for decades and decades and nope. decades and decades. I remember I was down with Bob Benny, and we're, we're going around. And I'm in the truck, and we're, we're going through some out yards. And I asked Bob, I said, Bob, at what point in your beekeeping career did you did a light bulb go off and you figured out or you thought man, I've really got this figured out. And he looks back and smiles and he says, I still don't know what I'm doing. 
you know, yeah. to, to that extent, yeah. he knows what he's doing. Right, right, but right, right, right. There are unknowns, you know, and, and what was interesting is we've all been here. This is another little tidbit that I learned from Bob. Any of us who's beekeeping, sometimes you feel like you're always a week behind if you're lucky. Um, there's never enough equipment built. The bees aren't where you want. You're late on doing this, and you just guess what? That happens to everybody, mm-hmm. including Bob Benny. And what Bob said is, those times that I feel like I'm behind or I'm late or I'm missing something, I get out into the bee yard, and everything's fine. Like the, just l- making co- uh, communications with other folks, building those mm-hmm. relationships, sharing the reality of beekeeping. Like you know, those few little words that Bob just you know smiled and and shared like that was um extremely encouraging for me you know but to hear somebody like bob who's been decades and decades and decades came in i'm sure ian they will all say the same thing we have an idea you know we would do this we do right, that with that right but there are times where we you know we get out there we worry and then all is well we we, we do the best that's worth coming to a conference alone. And there's not many conferences that are set up like that. No, no, there's not. You'll be down there with an entire booth. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're doing it pretty big. We're really excited about it. We've got pre-orders out on the vaporizers. Um, it's really a big thing. They're going left and right. So there's not like a promo code or anything like that. It's a separate uh, product altogether, but it's plastered on it. Hive life. You can't miss it. Kind of, you can't miss it. Um, but we have caps, uh, a couple of our like hive tools I had engraved because nice. I wanted one with Lorabi's on it. Yeah. Um, so we'll have them also, cool. you know, I may give some of those out while we're down there, but we're pre-ordering a bunch. We're going to take a bunch of vaporizers down with us. It's just going to be awesome. I'll get to meet all these people who have had such a positive influence on my life, yep. vice versa. You know, it's it's going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, we've we've got a ton of a uh, ton of pre-orders that have been coming in, and uh, we're going to take them up until we leave, basically. And uh, they'll just pick up down there, and then we'll be selling them from our booth and all. You won't be able to miss the booth. I'm telling you, yeah. you you won't you won't be able to miss the bit. That's it's, awesome. It's pretty big. We're we're really excited about it. Yeah, if you can sneak away, we're we're trying to do something in our booth, like a collaboration corner, where we're trying to meet up with folks that are uh, content creators or any beekeeper with a story that that they want to share. Uh, they can stop by our booth too. Hope you stop by and yeah. uh, we'll ask you some goofy questions and uh, just you know keep building the beekeeping community. Um, it, it, it's one thing to put a message out. Um, I think it's another thing to actually meet people where they are in their journey. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the most incredible thing uh, about doing in-person conferences where you're face-to-face. You can Mm -hmm. look them in the eye. You can hear their story. You can be a part of that. And that's huge. Yeah. As I'm really excited that you're going to be down there. Um, There are so many uh, great folks that are going to be down there, too. Um, the best place I think right now to find more information is to go to the Hive Life Conference Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you can go to tickettaylor.com and, and find it there too. Um, uh, yeah, there's all kind of vendors on there. Anything you need, beekeeping, like they, they've got it. I mean, n- n- yeah. It's it is so all cool. inclusive. God, like, that's I, so cool. It all around is going to be a full event. Top notch speakers, excited. amazing vendors, uh, and the absolute best people the salt of the earth folks that you could ever meet are going to be there and that's that's going to be awesome yeah i'm i'm very very excited for it well um as this is going out this is going to be in december and in a lot of parts of the country at home in ohio we're going to have a warm-up where it's going to be uh low to even high 50s as we get a little bit closer to the uh the solstice it's gonna be an excellent time for folks to get out there and actually start treating for mites. Mm-hmm. So there's there's going to be a lot of folks that are going to be treating for their very first time. Can you run a beginning beekeeper how they use your vaporizer? Yeah, so it's really easy. It's it's about as plug and play as you get. You know, it's essentially got a thermostat and a cauldron, a hot pot, whatever you wish to call it. There's some blue caps. I don't have any here to, to show you, but it's just a blue silicone cap, which is what you put the acid in. Leveled off, not packed. It's about two grams of oxalic acid. Um, so you just kind of pre-measure those out. It comes with five. You can always order more. You know, some people like to have one per hive. Some people, you know, you can reuse them. So five is generally enough for everybody. You flip the power switch on, let it get up to temp. Um, set temp is 400 degrees. Oxalic acid subliminates around the 370 mark or so. Um, so you let it get up to temp. You flip the unit upside down to the cap. 
that keeps the acid cold in the bowl, um, takes the hot cauldron over top of it, which essentially creates a pressure cavity. Um, the stem is just the, the artery basically to put it in the hive. Uh, while upside down, you insert into the hive. People drill um, quarter inch holes. I mean, that's what I do. Some people get real technical and get small, but quarter inch, everybody's got a quarter inch drill bit. Um, so it works out well. So anyway, you just insert into the hive, flip it over. You may have to give it a tap if you ended up packing it in there or something. And that's it. You wait about the minute or so. I've heard people say it'll take 45 seconds. For yep. me, it's about a minute, but still you're comparing a minute to 15 minutes or so with a pan type. So the the savings of time is very um obvious once you've used one of these but but that's it and once it gets back up to temp once it passes the 350 mark it jumps to 400 pretty quick because well you've got no more acid in it because right. acid does it looks like it boils if you've ever seen it oh yeah at the 370 mark and, and then you're done and then you literally take the unit push it on top to the next uh blue cap that's already pre-filled stick it in the next hive and you're down the row so it's pretty quick. Um, you don't need to like turn it off between. I've had some people who are like, oh, it's got a power switch. I want to you know, make sure I'm being good with it. You just keep it on while you're treating. You're done. You flip it off. The power switch is for convenience. It's not per treatment. It's you know, just a luxury to have, essentially. Um, you can always leave it on, just unplug it. That's how the older units, uh, John O's, didn't even have a power button. Right. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's it's that easy. You don't have to do any configuration on it. We have a one year, essentially no questions asked warranty at this point. There are some where like um, they get dunked in water, and you know, and and we always work. With if there's people. Goodyear treads going over the top yeah. of the unit, that's probably excluded from the warranty. Yeah. I talk to them at least. <laughs> I talk. I mean, you know, they, they the number is to my cell phone. You know, I, I yeah. really take a lot of pride in the customer service side of it. Um, I didn't really even know that that's what I was doing. I just loved communicating with people and making sure that they got something that's good to treat their bees. Um, so that was kind of why I was like, oh yeah, I just put this number on my cell phone because like, if you have a problem, I want you to call me. I want right. you to have a unit that Don't works. Don't be bashful. Right. right, that's what you deserve. That's what you bought. Right. That's what I want to I'm give with you. you. Um, so that that's my whole mentality with it. And, and it's really just drives home the, you know, I'm just another beekeeper helping beekeepers. You right. know, it's, it, we're not some big organization that who knows who runs it. And, you know, I want to see people have healthy bees and treating for mites is that big ticket. People have to take it seriously. And by the time that you spend the money that you do, even with one hive to get started, mm -hmm. this is asset protection is what this is. hundred percent. It's, it's yep. simply asset protection. Folks, for, if they want more information, you can check out the, the links below. You can go to laurabees.com. I'm excited to see you again uh, in January, yeah. and we're going to have to come back and visit and go down some more rabbit holes with Rob. Yeah. It seems like we could just, we'll just, um, there's so many things to yeah, talk about. Yeah, I, I really like experimenting. I talk to Bruce all the time about experimenting. Oh, yeah. So we got a lot yeah. that we could go into with that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Rob, thanks again for having us at your home, at your family dining room table, sharing how your family's built a business that not only helps the beekeepers, um, but it helps the bees. Yeah, thanks for coming. It's this has been awesome. I'm looking forward. I finally got a mug. You finally got a mug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way around, but we're happy, uh, happy to see you have it there. Looking forward to seeing you at the Hive Life Conference uh, in January, and we're definitely gonna have to come back and have uh, some more talks going down the rabbit hole with Rob. Yeah, yeah, it'd so be great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, be sure to check out this interview on our YouTube channel at naturesimagefarm.com. Uh, and as always, be the lighthouse and be bold and be the change that you want to see in this world. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, can you help us out? Hit like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and be sure to check these great videos out too.